Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This Marlins video containing all parts, listening, time and numbers, grammar, vocabulary and reading. Do not skip the video because all parts is very important. And please like and subscribe to support this channel to provide another video. And please share to your friends to help others. Thank you. So have you got all your equipment? I see you've got the radio. Yes, and here's my whistle. Anything else? I don't think so. Well, you obviously must be like a cat at night then. What do you mean? Where's your torch? Do you happen to have nighttime vision? Oh, of course. I'm sorry. Go and get it quick. Right, the next area I want to check is the access to the accommodation. We'll start here on deck A. You okay? Good. Everything seems to be okay. Now, could you lock this last door? Oh. Oh, it doesn't seem to be working. I can't get it to lock. I don't believe it. We checked all these doors just three hours ago. So, how was the course? Did you find it useful? Not really, no. Well, that's a bit of a waste. Sometimes the courses they send us on aren't always very relevant or the content can be out of date. It wasn't so much the course itself, it was the trainer. Hmm. I think some of these shore-based trainers can get out of touch with what life is really like at sea nowadays. Well, he was experienced enough, but he just never stopped talking. He didn't ask us any questions, even though we had a huge amount of experience between us. After a while, I just switched off and stopped listening. So, how was the course? Did you find it useful? Not really, no. Well, that's a bit of a waste. Sometimes the courses they send us on aren't always very relevant or the content can be out of date. It wasn't so much the course itself, it was the trainer. Hmm. I think some of these shore-based trainers can get out of touch with what life is really like at sea nowadays. Well, he was experienced enough, but he just never stopped talking. He didn't ask us any questions, even though we had a huge amount of experience between us. After a while, I just switched off and stopped listening. I've just had a look around the vessel, and you remember yesterday I commented on a few things? Yeah, I remember you said you found the ratings used a tin can as an ashtray. And there was a faulty gas meter, and not enough warning signs displayed. Yes, they've mostly been resolved, with the exception of the signs. Can you make sure that's sorted by tomorrow? Yeah, I'm on to it now. I've just had a look round the vessel, and you remember yesterday I commented on a few things? Yeah, I remember you said you found the ratings used a tin can as an ashtray. And there was a faulty gas meter, and not enough warning signs displayed. Yes, they've mostly been resolved, with the exception of the signs. Can you make sure that's sorted by tomorrow? Yeah, I'm on to it now.
I just want to remind those of you who are new to this ship or company about a few things. Uh, probably the most important thing, as far as you're concerned, is your pay and your banking arrangements. It's really important that you let us know if there are any changes, such as a changed account number or uh, if you want to have it paid into a different account. Recently, a few crew members didn't get their salary on time because they'd forgotten to inform us that they'd changed banks. We do need to be kept up to date concerning any changes. You know, I've had diarrhoea for a couple of days now. Actually, my stomach hasn't been too good either. Did you have the roast chicken yesterday? Um, no, I didn't. So, it probably isn't that then. Do you know if the rest of the crew have had any problems? I'm not aware of any, but I'll ask around. Do you think it might be the new cook? If you ask me, I don't think he washes his hands enough. Yes, I've been thinking the same thing myself. His nails didn't look very clean yesterday. I think I'll go and inspect the galley. So does your wife work then, Valeri? Yeah, in a factory. What kind of factory? Clothes, you know. They make suits, uniforms, and that kind of thing. Oh. How long has she done that for? Not so long. She used to work in a leather factory, but the chemicals made her sick. But she trained as a teacher, so she hopes to find a job teaching children. Wake up, get up, it's already six in the morning. Oh, uh, what? It's six a.m. already. The bus is coming in fifteen minutes to take us to the port. We've only got fifteen minutes to get ready. Come on, how much did you have to drink last night? Nothing. Okay, hang on a minute. What's the exact time now? I told you it's six o'clock. What? But by my watch, it's one a.m. Are you sure your watch hasn't stopped? But, uh, oh, 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 no, I don't believe it. Uh, I'm really sorry. I forgot to change the time on my watch after the last flight. It's still set five hours ahead. Oh, great. Thanks for waking me up. This is PTV Phone Company. How may I help you? Yes, I'd like to have my phone disconnected, please. May I ask why? Well, I'm a seafarer and I'll be away for quite a few months. All right. May I have your phone number, please? Sure. It's 893-22-0077. And your full name, please? My name is Roman Balkvadze. Right. For security purposes, may I have your date of birth, please? Sure. It's June 5th, 1978. Thank you. Now, when would you like to be disconnected? Uh, from June 9th. No, I actually, no. Make that June 15th. Well... We needed to get access to the main engine lube oil filters. Anyway, we had to remove a section of the engine room deck grating, and when the chief engineer came back, he didn't look where he was going. I don't know how he could miss seeing a great big hole in front of him, but somehow he did, and he fell into it. Anyway, he's cut his leg really badly and he's in hospital now. 
well, we needed to get access to the main engine lube oil filters. Anyway, we had to remove a section of the engine room deck grating, and when the chief engineer came back, he didn't look where he was going. I don't know how he could miss seeing a great big hole in front of him, but somehow he did, and he fell into it. Anyway, he's cut his leg really badly and he's in hospital now. It's really busy. Anything to report? Yes. This is one of the busiest areas. You have to really concentrate. These fishing vessels just don't seem to follow any rules. Hmm. I've got my eye on that one over there. He could well be a pirate skiff. What's that in the distance? It's an LNG tanker. They don't like them coming too close to the coast. There are a lot of restrictions. They're really strict. And there's so many overcrowded ferries in this vicinity. There was an accident involving one just last month. It capsized in rough seas. Luckily, there were a few container vessels that managed to save quite a few of the passengers. It's really busy. Anything to report? Yes. This is one of the busiest areas. You have to really concentrate. These fishing vessels just don't seem to follow any rules. Hmm. I've got my eye on that one over there. He could well be a pirate skiff. What's that in the distance? It's an LNG tanker. They don't like them coming too close to the coast. There are a lot of restrictions. They're really strict. And there's so many overcrowded ferries in this vicinity. There was an accident involving one just last month. It capsized in rough seas. Luckily, there were a few container vessels that managed to save quite a few of the passengers. There was nearly a riot on my last vessel. The cook was absolutely dreadful. Can you believe they ran out of rice at sea? Not good when you've got a Filipino crew. We seem to have potatoes all the time, especially chips. Yeah, that's because the cook is British. I need to give him a lesson how to make bread. His tastes so sweet. I think he must put sugar in it or something. Typical British. I think they live on cakes. His pasta is actually really good, though. Yes, that's his speciality. He did some of his training in Italy. So, how long do you think he's been on board? Not long. He must have got on in one of the ports in Kenya, probably Mombasa. So, is he Kenyan? No, he said he was escaping persecution in Sudan, but we found papers on him that say he's Somalian. That's a bit of a headache to sort out. Yeah, we're stuck with him till we get to Tanzania, then we'll hand him over to the authorities. Okay, so before they even get on board, make sure they're all wearing the correct PPE. Then, as soon as they come on board, take them to the muster station and keep them all together away from the prohibited areas. Familiarise them with the emergency signals. Oh, and don't forget to make sure that they understand that under no circumstances can they smoke on board.
OK. So before they even get on board, make sure they're all wearing the correct PPE. Then, as soon as they come on board, take them to the muster station and keep them all together, away from the prohibited areas. Familiarise them with the emergency signals. Oh, and don't forget to make sure that they understand that under no circumstances can they smoke on board. Oh no, where's my passport? You had it just now at immigration. Oh, it's okay. It's in my money belt. But where's my money? Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, it's okay. It's in my back pocket. Well, I wouldn't leave it there if I was you. Have you got the hotel booking? No, you've got it. No, I haven't. Is it in your bag? I don't think so. It's... Ah, it's here in my jacket pocket. How long does the smoke float last for? What kind of assistance is required? What job should I do now? Why is it so hot in your cabin? When's the new chief officer joining the vessel? That cargo was loaded on 13th of March. It says on the itinerary that the ferry leaves at 2140 hours. The top speed of this vessel is 19.7 knots. You took 2 minutes 15 seconds to don your immersion suit. You took 2 minutes 15 seconds to don your immersion suit. Our cargo is 97,682 tons of crude oil. Our cargo is 97,682 tons of crude oil.